Fantasia had a little vacation this weekend um, and is now turned into an all-out war with Airbnb, where she is claiming that somebody, whether it's the Airbnb host or the neighbors who report her, but that somebody uh, was racially profiling her and her family. Uh, this all happened during, uh, over the weekend, she, her son was turning 12, yep. uh, and they went on a little trip. Uh, she said they wanted a house by a lake. Nice. And um, he brought some friends, and they had a party. Nice. Harmless, Charles. It seems right. like it, especially since it's a 12-year-old party, right. right? How bad could it be? Right. Well, she ended up getting into a huge fight with the, uh, the host of this Airbnb uh, and claims that they tried to kick her out in the middle of the night. So okay. here is why she thinks this may be a case of racial profiling. My son wanted to rent a house at the lake and bring six of his friends. The kids were on the game truck quietly playing because they're gamers. The neighbors, I don't know if this is a color thing and I, I don't want to feel like it, but my heart is completely broken. My husband put the fire pit on and we went outside and told scary stories. Now you probably heard maybe one or two screams, but the kids were in the bed by nine o'clock. What time did they call with the complaint? Mm, about 11.30. Stating that it was loud over here that they were watching us on camera. They got a lot of videos from neighbors. Oh yeah, that they have videos, but nobody sent in. Um, we're like, can you send us the proof, ma'am? Or it felt like, it felt like a black thing. You could tell wow. she was hesitant. She didn't want to say it, but. No. From the, if the description that she gave is accurate. Right. I understand why she might think that. Right, especially if the kids are in bed at nine o'clock. Like you said, and I get this, if you're renting someone a house and you've got uh, 22 year olds who are having a wild party and drinking, that, maybe there's drugs, but that, that wasn't up. that. Right? Right. She said the kids played games, they heard scary stories at the fire pit, and that is actually really sad. By, and if they're, in, if they're in bed by nine, so I don't know what these complaints are. Right, where, why did the noise complaint then come in two and a half hours later?